welcome. It's me again. Okay, right, let's do it properly. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a little Q&A, university slash moving across country Q&A. I asked questions on Instagram and Snapchat so we're gonna answer some questions and get to know me a little bit better now that I live in a different part of the UK. So these are the ones on Instagram, so not that many, but I've got more on Snapchat. Okay, so the first question is, how do you deal with homesickness? Asking for a friend. Well, I mean, everyone deals with it in their own way. For me personally, when I came here, I didn't get that homesick until maybe a couple of days after. Maybe had a few tears, but it was nothing more than that. I was fine, still am fine. Although I have, have been incredibly anxious since being here. I guess it's just new surroundings and whatever, you know. But I've got lovely people that can help me, so it's all good. Someone also said, <laughs> we're getting up into the really weird questions already. What's the sex like at uni? Well, I'm not the person to ask because I wouldn't know, haven't been there yet. <laughs> um, one of my friends said, was it scary leaving your friends and family? Yes. It was very scary because like a few years ago, like last year, the year before last, I never wanted to even go to university. I had never even imagined myself to be in this position, but here I am at university studying photography. Wow, look at me. Um, yeah, I miss my friends and family very much. Have a bunch of pictures on there. I haven't put loads up yet, actually. I still have loads of pictures that I need to put up. Maybe on my wardrobe there. Who knows? I need to put my fairy lights up as well, and I've been here for like five weeks now, so. Um, was it difficult moving to uni during COVID? Yes, because usually when, for example, when I moved my brother into uni, like five years ago, um, we were all allowed to go in and help, unpack and everything. But this time, because of COVID, only one person was allowed in with me at a certain time. So when I moved in, for example, I had two trolleys, but we kept going back to get more because I had more than two trolleys worth, as you can see if you saw my room tour. <laughs> um, one person is allowed in at a time. So at first, me and my mum came in just to drop in some trolleys, and then she went back down and my dad came up to help build my chest of drawers. And then he went back and then my mum came in and brought some other stuff up and they left or well, didn't leave they stayed overnight you know don't use dinner and stuff um but i it took me about four or five days to unpack my full room because number one didn't have enough hangers I had to go buy some a lot of hangers actually um yeah i just was very lazy my, the last thing that took me ages to put away was my clothes i just couldn't be bothered but now they're all away and they've been away for five weeks now so do you feel homesick or do you love being away from home both don't feel as homesick anymore like I'm completely comfortable being here now like I've got to know the surroundings I basically know exactly where I'm going to uni I know where I'm going to uni the direct straight route um I love it I'm going to uni tomorrow because I'm filming this on Monday the 12th of October and I guess uni tomorrow on the 12th 13th and uh, next week's reading week so I've got to make the most of tomorrow because we only go in one day a week um because of covid the rest is just online so that's cool I guess and um, what's your favorite part about uni my favorite part about uni is being able to just take pictures of what I want and having freedom and my friends going out to get drinking obviously <laughs> Um, I have gotten drunk one too many times since being here. Not as many as some other people, but enough for me to begin with. I mean, I've been here a month and I've drank more than I have drank in the past five years or whatever, so. Um, have you met other people from uni who isn't in your flat? I have. People in my photography course, actually, are like my closest friends, honestly. There's one boy in it and his name's Harry and he's my best friend. Um, and he's great at photography as well and I model for him sometimes and he helps me learn how to use this freaking camera and filming on because 
before uni, I didn't realise this camera could take so, so many good professional pictures, but I'm learning how to use it and it's amazing. Um, when do you come home back for holidays? I come back in December around the 11th. I think I finish on the 11th. So I will come back around the... Um, yeah, I'll be probably back home by the 13th of December, which will be really exciting. I think my dad's coming to get me on the 12th because I hate buses, so there's no way I'm going to go get on the National Express, even though the bus station's next door. But you know, now we're going to go on Snapchat and read out those questions. Um, got quite a few. I just did it on YOLO because YOLO. <laughs> um, what's your favourite thing you've done within the course? Being able to take pictures that I want to take pictures of, having my own freedom, not being told what to take pictures of, like it's completely up to me. Apart from we did get, to, we had to choose words as like a starting point for the project and I chose light and dark and object and I've been taking pictures of glass and I insert some pictures here of what I've been doing because it's amazing, I am obsessed. Got an eye on anyone you fancy yet? To be fair, no, but when I got here, I, d I did. Obviously, I was gonna have little, I basically, yes, I did, but now I don't. So, I'm just loving life being single, honestly. I'm, I've, I'm so happy right now. I, even though I've been incredibly anxious, I'm really happy within myself, and, you know, in a few more months when I calm down fully, get less anxious in the past few days like since last night I've been completely fine haven't been anxious once and I've loved it loved it I'm a very anxious and worry person so it's not nice and um, the next question is has anyone in your flat had Covid? not that I know of and not yet <laughs> but I'm sure it's yet to come I don't want it to come but oh geez um, not in our flat no no one at the moment do you fancy anyone? I did, but not now. Do you miss anyone? I miss my friends from home, like Sophie, Emma, Grace. Them, they're like my closest friends from home. I miss them, and obviously my parents, and my grandma and granddad, and my brother. I haven't seen him in like a year, so it's very sad. I haven't seen him in a year because of COVID. Um, Someone's asked me if I've spoken to Harry, my ex, and I haven't. Um, is it a difficult course? Um, at the moment, I wouldn't say so. I mean, I'm, year, in, I'm in year zero, so I'm just in the basics, really, aren't I? Um, it's really fun. I have been very stressed at the moment because of some of the work, but that's mainly just because of my anxiety and things like that. But overall, now that I think about it, it's really not that difficult. It's quite straightforward, but if you're an award overthinker like me, it can be very difficult. Um, does anyone fancy me? Um, there actually have been a few people that have fancied me. Um, but I just didn't go along with it, obviously. I just, so. Um, yeah, that's, that's the video done. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I don't know, I might do another video soon. I love making, I love filming, and I've got a lot more space now to film. I can actually put my tripod up, sit where I want, I've got loads of angles. Um, might do a bathroom tour soon. I mean, I've done it, but like an in-depth tour, like what's in the drawers and everything, because I feel like those videos are like really interesting. So, who knows? Pardon me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.